Welcome back. I'm Ryan Combs with uh, AFT Construction. I'm a superintendent out here on SM Gilbert Traditional. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, insulating, insulation, why we do it, um, the different types, and just getting ready for drywall. So over here we have some uh, open cell spray-in foam. Um, a lot of times everyone will say that they prefer to use this in the attic spaces when the AC units are up there just because once it's sprayed on, it stays still and all the particles can't get in the filters and in the units and stuff like that. Um, but if you look right next to it, we have some spray, uh, spray in cellulose. And this is netted on this side because if you picture the wall open, right, there was nothing to spray it onto. So the installers came in, they netted one side and then that way um, they could spray, they could spray into the net and it, this stuff is just damp enough when it's sprayed in that it stays compacted in there and then they just shave away whatever's left over or just knock it off really. Um, but if you look right over here to the left, you can see some that didn't have to be netted because we have some shear wall behind it. Um, this is really good being sprayed in because it fills the entire um, compartment, fills all the nooks and crannies, helps with the sound helps with you know the heating and cooling but definitely knocks down on the sound um, it's one of those things that on a house of this caliber a house you know this expensive this nice you're generally going to find um, your spray and cellulose in the interior walls as well where in production homes you might just find insulation on the exterior walls and obviously this will always be an option if you want to pay for it but pretty much here we're doing this as a standard on these nicer homes and that helps knock down the noise, um, definitely keeps each room cooled and heated, you know, where the customer wants it, but makes the house a lot more quiet. So if we step into the garage, you can see, uh, you know, on these, the guys didn't feel like they had to shave it as much, a um, little bigger cavity, so it just filled up nicely. Um, the nice thing with a spray in open cell is it just fills the entire, the entire bay and expands and then it hardens so that way it's it's all set um, it's it's less messy you, you have to buy you know less product because it expands so that's the nice part about this spray and open cell in the main garage uh, of the home we did what we call like a music room for the kids right so we put them up there and that's why the installation looks a little little wonky here because we just encapsulated that little room that's gonna have drums, guitars, and all the music stuff in there just to, to help with the sound. But it's a really cool picture to see it all bubbling up and taking shape. Um, but you can see it, it wraps around here and is on the outside of the walls up above the garage. So this is where our, our customers' kids will play all their music. So on this wall right here, it's, it's made out of two by four material and each type of insulation will have a different R rating for the, the width or the depth of the wall, right? So this being a two by four wall and this wall past this pocket door, being a two by six wall will have a little better R rating just because it's got more insulation in it. So um, the charts will tell you how much you're spraying and, and, and exactly how good that R rating is, energy efficient, stuff like that. Some of you might see this wall and, and wonder why the difference in the insulation, right? So from this point back, this wall is an exterior wall. So it's got the elements outside. This is an interior wall, this is the kitchen. So it switches back to the cellulose uh, insulation. But that's why you see the difference in you're wondering why you're in the same room but see two different insulations, that's why. And also, if, uh, if you notice that bay is not full, that's a double two by six wall. Um, so the exterior portion is completely full and it's bleeding into the inside two by six as well. But So on a house this size, 7,000 square feet in the house, another 15, 16 in that other garage next door. Um, the insulation guys were here for about five days for the exterior wall spray and ceilings. And then the interior wall guys came in with the cellulose and we're here for about two days total. So it was about seven days of spraying, which is quite a long time, but you know, there's a lot of square footage to catch. And between that and all the netting, it just took a, took a little bit longer, um, but man, it's well worth it. So we're down in the hallways leading to bedroom one and two and you got the laundry behind me. 
And here you'll see the spray, uh, spray in cellulose. And it's what they call like a damp spray, right? So there's just enough water in here to make it damp. That way it stays compact, but it, it, it makes an airtight seal and fills up the entire bay um, once applied. So really gives you a thermal um, seal and a good sound barrier once it's in there. Yeah, one, one of the biggest differences walking in this house now on this side of the house is you can't hear the echoes anymore. So um, that's a good thing, right? When you've got neighboring walls or got the family in one room, the kids in the other, you don't want to hear the games or whatever, um, this insulation will help a lot. And it's, you know, like I said, not always a standard on production level homes, but in the custom level, you'll generally find that the interior walls are sprayed as well. So this is Ryan with AFT Construction. Uh, appreciate you joining us today at uh, SM Gilbert Traditional to talk insulation. Uh, next up, 5.8 drywall. Follow along to see the progress. Oh.